So in this lecture, we are going to look at descriptive statistics. Now we can come to our descriptive statistics from the file that I've attached and head over to analysis. Remember that you can always come to test and from test, there are so many different tests that you can do on your data. Now, the first one we want to play with is the descriptive statistics. So you can choose this one. Also, you can come to this side and head over to descriptive statistics as well. So let's come in and then go to descriptive statistics. It brings about this pop up. So it's telling us that now we are doing descriptive statistics. As previously shown, you can come in and choose the columns that you want to perform the descriptive statistics. So let's go for A and B and head to finish. Now, when you go to finish, a new report sheet is made. So you have your column A and then column B. So it brings about this report page. And then from the report page, you have column A, you have the size, which is the number of elements. So you have like one to 14. So that's what you have here. Same as the other one for group A, you don't have any missing value, but for group B, there is a missing value. So you also have that here. And this is the mean for group A, mean for B, standard deviation, standard error, and all that. And you also have the range that marks the mean you have the skewiness, ketosis, and all of that. So it's kind of like a descriptive statistic tool for you. And it's always cool to have and play along with it. So it brings about this report page and you can come into options and from options you can choose. So everything is chosen. The percentile, for instance, is 25 to 75 you can change that you can also change the confidence interval mean you can remove some of these stuff and then run the test again so let's say you don't need all of it you can just come in and let's say change let's remove a lot from it so let's say we have something a small and go to run test and then from run test it brings about this again let's go for finish and now we have something little as we've chosen you can also go to create graph so from your statistical from your descriptive statistics you can also create graph you can create a bar chart or a scatter plot or or whatever that you can choose you can go to sorry you have to select one so let's say we want to create a scatter plot so it gives us a scatter plot so this is for group a which is group a and group b it gives us this plot with these error bars and we can edit them as we need you can also just kind of modify it as we've already shown and that is something great to have you can always come in and play along so you have if you want to have let's say a box plot or a bar chart something you can always come in hit okay and now you have a box plot of that so this is very useful for your work